What's cracking Jump Nation? It's your boy here, Rush ES, aka the Jump Rope Coach. If you're new to Rush Athletics TV, welcome. This channel is on a mission to get the world jumping rope the right way. Looking slick and giving that hot girl in the gym a good reason to give you a second look. <laughs> what? <laughs> that was quite jokes. Right, so you've seen all my previous tutorials, all my hints and tips I can give you, all the advice, and still you're struggling with the moves. There might be one key thing that you're missing, and that is how you hold your jump rope. I'm gonna share with you in today's video how Floyd holds his jump rope because it might be the key to get you executing his moves in no time. So stay tuned for the rest of the video. We're gonna run the intro as usual, and we're gonna get it as always. Peace. So how to hold a jump rope is something that might get overlooked quite easily. I see a lot of people still skipping and trying to execute the moves that I've been showing on YouTube and trying to emulate Mayweather moves etc and they still get it wrong. And the reason might be this, it could be down to simply how they hold their skipping rope. So I've spent a fair bit of time analysing Floyd and how he jumps rope and one thing that always stands out is how he grips the jump rope and it's something that I've incorporated and it's something that helps me from day to day and how I can execute moves exactly like he does. All he simply does really to keep, you know, to cut a long story short, is he positions his thumbs down the handle of the jump rope. So a lot of people might just grip it, kind of like a baseball back grip, thumbs tucked into the knuckles. What I want you to try and do is focus on getting your thumbs stretched out and down the handle of the jump rope. And what that's going to allow you to do is simply feel and know where the rope is exactly in the revolution. So as it's coming over your head, as it's clipping the ground, you know from that thumb position being down, you kind of have a sense of where the rope is. It allows for better manipulation of the rope, kind of more creativity with it, more wrist turning, so that you can do the crossovers, you could do the double unders very easily. It's really important to be honest with you for the crossovers, because in one of my previous tutorials, if you go back, the thumb position allows you to turn the wrist over and behind you to get a good cross at the elbows and then when you're coming back for the uncross. So the thumb position being stretched out is very crucial for the crossovers. Similarly for double unders as well, as you're doing your double unders, the thumbs being stretched out like this allow you to push the rope downwards in such a fashion that you get better revolution of the rope and more controlled and more speed when you need to, rather than having the baseball handed grip kind of like this and you're, and you're using your wrists more to get the revolution. I always say that you want to use more forearm and then the thumb to control the rope. Right, so I'm going to put the rope down for a second. Got my golf club. Why well, have I got a flipping golf club? Right, golf is another sport that I want to highlight. It's probably up there in terms of one of the hardest hand-eye coordination sports I've ever tried personally in my life. And I wanted to bring it to your attention in today's video. If you think about when you're playing golf, for those golfers out there, your position of your grip it's so key to have this thumb pointing downwards. I know, I know you can have certain, certain grips which are kind of like baseball handed grips. Again, a lot, of, a lot of golfers still use that. But the generic kind of general type of grip would be the thumb facing downwards. And that's so key because it allows you to kind of manipulate the club head. It allows you to know where the club head is in wherever in the swing you are, wherever in the arc or wherever in the way you want to call it. But it allows you to know where it is, allows you to keep the timing and the, the coordination and the rhythm just nice. And, and that's what we want to try and get to is that even in different sort of sports where, where hand-eye coordination is super key and super important, skipping, skipping is just the same guys, you know? We need to make sure that we know exactly where the rope is, how we can manipulate it. When we're executing moves, the thumb position is going to be super key and it's something that Mayweather does all the time and what I've analyzed it through the years is something that hasn't changed. Right, so get those thumbs stretched out, give it a go, leave me some comments and some feedback below. I really wanna know if this little tip has helped you. It certainly helped me, and I know you lot are gonna smash it as always. So hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Hit that like button if you found this helpful. Always appreciate the support. Time to wrap it up. As usual, take care of yourself, skip the treadmill, stay safe. See you in the next one. Peace. Nearly forgot, the rope here used today is a sample of my new rope ready to come out, the Rush Athletics Speed Rope 
coming soon guys please 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 be patient it's gonna be here in the next three weeks four weeks maybe we're just finalizing the last minute designs but bear with me i'll have it straight to your door within no time so stay tuned subscribe if you haven't turn the post notifications on so that i can let you know about the launch date of this rope what i can tell you about the rope right now is that it's going to be super comfortable super quick you can have maximum feel with it and you'll be able to execute all the moves that mayweather can do so bear with me stay tuned and i'll get it straight to your door within no time peace